Highway 169 is an interregional corridor connecting Mankato and southwestern Minnesota to Minneapolis and the rest of the Twin Cities. It carries regional traffic, commuter traffic, and local traffic. It serves as a major conduit for freight movement carrying commercial, agricultural, and manufacturing products. And it provides regional access to retail, institutional, recreational, and entertainment facilities. It also connects to the ports of Savage, an important transfer point on the Minnesota River for grain heading to other parts of the country and to international destinations. It's been said that a road is only as good as its weakest link. In the case of Highway 169, the weakest link remains the interchange at Interstate 494 in the southwestern suburbs, where traffic lights still exist that prevent the roadway from fully functioning as it needs to, which is a freeway. The signals at Highwood Drive and at both the north and south ramps with I-94 dramatically impact traffic levels in the entire southwest region. The communities of Eden Prairie, Edina, and Bloomington rely heavily on Highway 169 for access to their existing development and for future development needs. New economic development near Eden Prairie Center, the Golden Triangle, Bramer in Edina, and areas south of I-494 in the Bloomington area cannot be fully realized without improvements to the interchange. You know, as part of our project, we obviously want to remove the existing signals that are there. With a traditional approach, we would rebuild the entire interchange, all eight system moves. With a performance-based design, we're only really addressing what's really needed at this point in time. MnDOT, along with its local partners, collaborated on a solution based on performance. The solution would have us rebuild the interchange with six ramps instead of eight as a phased approach. Instead of constructing all eight at once, which is the current federal policy for interstates. Six of those eight movements we will fix in phase one. Two of the movements really aren't necessary to fix at this time. The phased approach would save approximately 30 to 40 million dollars in construction costs that MnDOT could use elsewhere in the Twin Cities metro area. The 169-494 performance-based solution rebuilds the interchange at a lower cost, yet achieves more than 90% of the benefit of a full build. The design removes stoplights, reduces congestion, and improves safety. It improves the larger Southwest Twin Cities transportation system. The performance-based design, what that's going to allow us to do is to free up financial resources and put them somewhere else, perhaps maybe in the, the interchange here uh, sometime later in the future, or maybe one of the other close-by interchanges where we see a performance issue arise. Um, but it, it's putting money where we have performance issues rather than putting the money where it's really not needed at this time. Performance-based design can be applied statewide and across the nation. It represents an innovative way forward in improving and maintaining safety and mobility on our highway system. We can fix the weakest link on Highway 169 with performance-based design. Collaborating with the Federal Highway Administration, we can make this solution a reality.